So in continuing our discussion about flow, we want to look at what are the effects of flow on the human body and what happens when we enter the flow state. As, as we discovered, more is not more. So the brain doesn't look at more and more stuff. It actually shuts down critical brain functions where less it becomes more. So this is called transient hypofrontality. And what happens is it, de it deactivates portions of the prefrontal cortex in our brain allowing us to focus more on the task at hand. So in essentially, it re, in essentially, it removes distractions. Distractions like morality, willpower, planning, the distraction of time, anxiety disappears, stress leaves, and we lose our sense of self. All these distractions cause us to have, have uh, conditional biases on what we're working on. As, we, as those distractions, distractions get removed, we're able to function more and we're able to focus more on, on the task at hand and what we're looking at. When we're in the flow state, the brain combines five performance enhancing neurochemicals, nephrinephrine, dopamine, endorphins, unanamide, and serotonin. And by combining, and this is the only state that we see the, the all five of these pleasure enhancing drugs happen in, in the brain at the same time. So it's, it's doing something to, to cause us to feel really good about ourselves and to, to knock out all of, the, all of the distortions that we get that prevent us from focusing in on something and having these kind of prejudices that we do. Flow increases productivity and create, create, creativity. We have more peak experiences. We can focus more on the application that we're doing. We, we connect to our community and we connect to a state of awareness as to what we're doing. For creativity, uh, it, flow allows more data acquisition. So as we're looking at stuff, we can we can assimilate the data much faster and much quicker, and we can draw we can draw on pattern recognition and see things that 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 uh, uh, that are related. We pay more attention to the information. We have faster connection to the data through pattern recognition. We can connect old ideas to new ideas, and we, risk taking goes up. And we can increase our productivity by 500 to 1,000 percent. And what they found is that this state can last for up to one to two days after you've had a, had a really intense flow interaction. So as we're as we're looking at this, we want to see, you know, how does this affect ourselves, and is this something that we really want to do? In most cases, it's yes. We want to be able to access this information, and we want to be able to enhance ourselves to get to this state and be in this flow state as much as we can in order to enhance our productivity and feel good about it and, and everything else. So if you'd like to learn more about entering the flow state, visit my website, sign up for one of my classes and learn how to, how to, how to attack and how to use the flow state in your everyday life.